Uh, for some flyers, it is the single most annoying part of air travel. You're right in the middle of a satisfying tweet, email, a video game, or YouTube clip of a trained monkey biting a cop <laughs> when the flight crew aggressively makes you shut off your device. For so long, so many of us have wondered, do our Blackberries, Kindles, iPads, and the like, do they really mess things up in the cockpit? Now, change could finally be on the way, and ABC's Rena Nainen is at Reagan National Airport in Washington, D.C. this morning. Hey, Rena, good morning. Good morning to you, Dan. There's always one more email to send before you take off. An advisory committee has actually been looking into whether or not the influence of small electronics affects the situation on a plane. And while these changes are not official, some are already saying they've been long overdue. Welcome aboard and thanks for flying with Delta. Our when it comes to flight safety, flight we're usually happy to follow the apart. rules. I'll be giving a Make sure your seatbelt is fast. Well, all but one. And ensure your mobile phones and electronic devices are turned off. The 50-year-old ban on electronics was even mocked in Men in Black 3. And you like, I ain't turning my cell phone off. That don't have nothing to do with no damn airplane. Well, this is what we get. That's what happens. It gets up there, bounces around on the satellites, and blam, just turn your damn cell phone off. But on Friday, news broke that the FAA may soon allow some devices, like e-readers, games, movies, tablets, to be used during taxiing and takeoff. The cell phone is allowed to transmit at a higher level than, for instance, Wi-Fi. So a cell phone can potentially have more power transmitting its signal. Welcome news for actor Alec Baldwin. Hold on, hold on for a second. Kicked off an American Airlines flight in 2011, refusing to turn off his phone while playing words with friends and before takeoff. You... Not any game, mind you, but a word game for smart people. <laughs> After all, pilots can now use iPads in the cockpit to look at maps and manuals. Sure beats the backup plan from airplane. If the FAA accepts the suggestions, you might be able to play Angry Birds during takeoff, but the ban on cell phones is expected to continue. But maybe that's a good thing. Excuse me. You're not supposed to be on your phone. It's bad for the plane. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a plane doctor? Ah, so annoying, those cell phones. Ultimately, it'll be up to the FAA to decide what to do. Now, if only they can figure out how we can keep our shoes on during those security mm. checkout lines, really important. One step at a time. Are you a plane doctor? Exactly. I like that. Hey, Rena, do you know when this is going to actually become implemented if they do pass it? Well, it'll be up to the FAA to decide to where to take these recommendations and whether or not to move forward. But there really is a lot of pressure from travelers to try and allow some of these small electronic devices, especially since there really is in concrete proof that it's affected uh, the use of the airplane in flight. So music, we'll to, to music to so many people's ears, including Dan's, who I, I'm curious to see these satisfying tweets yeah. and emails yeah, that he sends on a plane. Right now, as a <laughs> Arena, our thanks to you.